what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Let me set the scene for you. The city is San Jose, the state is California. There's a protest going on. Cops and protesters are spread it about. They're protesting in honor of George Floyd, a black man who was murdered by four Minneapolis police officers. There's a great American walking around with his phone filming police officers. He puts the camera in front of one and then the other. The second guy grabs his camera and violates his constitutional rights by tossing his camera to the side. This great American, I shall say hero, stole off on the cop, hit him. Knocked him out. Knocked him out so bad that when he hit the ground, he rolled under the car, almost. His buddies had to pick him up and haul him off. Now, I'm not a violent person. I don't advocate violence. But when you violate an American's constitutional rights, there's consequences and you have to be prepared. The guy clearly felt that he was violated. He is protected by the Constitution to defend himself against tyranny, against or defend himself against those who violate his rights. I don't think that getting your rights should be, or getting your right, having your rights respected should be limited to common citizens. It should be extended to police officers, especially when police officers take an oath. And this oath is to be held to a higher standard. You know, after all, they get the moral benefit in court, right? They get the benefit of doubt in court because they're police officers. This is uh, a benefit that's not afforded to the rest of us. This cop thought it was a day at the office. He thought it was a normal day. And he was so cool about just taking this guy's camera and just throwing it. Now, you know, some police officers, they don't like being filmed and they get very, very aggressive. It's not often that things go the way of the citizen. Typically, it is business as usual. They just take your phone and you, well, what about my phone? Give me my phone back. That's not right. I know my rights and da, da, da. And they don't care. Take your phone, do whatever they want to do with it. Sometimes they destroy the phone. In this case, he tossed it. And when he tossed it, this, this guy, he's a good guy. I mean, he just ding, ding, fries and shake. Well, it really wasn't a ding, ding. It was just ding out. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to see the actual punch. I'll show you the video. I'll put a link in the description. We didn't get a chance to see the actual punch because whoever was filming him panned their phone right as he was getting ready to get off on the cop, and then they panned back. So you do, but you do see the cop dropping. You see him going down. Dude, dude, he kind of, kind of hit the ground a little hard, you know. It was sad. It was sad. It's unfortunate that we've uh, come to this moment where police officers are being met with the same disrespect that they exhibit. Yeah, or oh, is that fortunate? Is it one of those situations where karma is playing out? 
where sooner or later, something has to give, pressure busts the pipe. What is it? I do suspect that it's going to get a lot worse. Both sides. It's going to get worse. We must do something to stop the violence. This violence. America is such a violent place. If you have any ideas on how we can come together, I would love to hear them. Drop a comment. No more talk. What the haters talking about?